Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, this is me, David, of course, again. I'm um, going to be here for a Shea video. <coughs> Excuse me on that. Um, I have a new soap, courtesy of Cold River Soap Works, uh, Larry. Uh, Larry Jones, he did me a huge favor. He's seen in one of the threads that I was asking if he had any more of those sandalwood soaps in the wood bowl. All out. Um, I expressed some disappointment on that thread. Um, I don't know how he came across it. I don't know how he really seen it, but he's seen it and actually messaged me a few hours later and offered to do one especially for me. So, okay, he did deliver. An am amazing craftsmanship on this boat. It's absolutely beautiful. The soap smells great. It's sandalwood. So you already know I am a fan, but this is a really nice sandalwood. Definitely a bit more complex. It smells really good. I love this wax seal. This wax seal is like one of like the classiest things I've ever seen. It's just amazing. It has a nice classic touch to everything. Excellent presentation, Larry. Um, hell of a job with that. Um, so, uh, of course, today is New Year's Eve. Um, I hope everybody has some great plans. I hope everybody enjoys their family's company. Um, just get it out of the way right now. Hey, please be safe. There's a lot of bad things that go on on New Year's Eve. A lot of drinking, a lot of driving, a lot of people just acting a fool. So whatever you do plan today, I hope you're uh, being as safe as humanly possible. Um, enjoying your time with the family and just, you know, hopefully everybody gets home okay tonight. Um, so I'm going to go straight into the shave now. I didn't bloom this soap. Um, it's soft, so I'm thinking I may not have to bloom it at all. So I'll check it out. Into it. Even a good amount of water in the brush. Again, I'm doing kind of like a semi uh, Marco's method, real, real watery and stuff. So okay, give it a little extra time to uh, to load up. Today will be a nice long load. So um, just a little update on things. Um, I have attempted to convert two people. Uh, two wet shavers this holiday season. My dad, which is actually, again, it's going well. He hasn't gone into the whole wet shaving routine, but he is using a double edge. And um, a real close friend to the family, young kid, um, he is 17, 16, 17 years old. I gave him uh, one of the Maggard razors, uh, M8, I think it is. The one with like, the wave handle. It looks like the Weber, Weber wave. So it's either the M5 or the M8. Um, he loved it. He uh, texted me last night that he was watching some of my videos, uh, some of Nick Shave's. Uh, beginner series videos on um, how to use a DE. I was going to show them how to use it myself yesterday, but just time got away from us. I got a little too busy and just didn't get to it. But, you know, I'll definitely be uh, mentoring him on that and make sure everything comes out good. You can check out all the proto lather coming off of the puck. That looks like great stuff. I think I got a good lather on it already. Coming out nice and creamy. So I expect a good shape out of this. And this is the Select uh, series of Cold River Soapworks. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So, hopefully that carries on. I'm going to use all this creamy goodness right here. To rub it in already. Get a little nice start. Great smelling soap. Really smells nice. I'm going to rinse my hands off. I'm probably gonna have to take out my wedding ring. It's a little big on me, so let me put that off to the side. It's a little big on me, so once I wet my fingers, it's pretty much done. Can't really uh, function with it. So, you see that. Tons of lather on the brush. Again, I'm still pretty much exclusively using the Nathan Clark Custom Brush. I love this brush. And the reason, again, that I made it, it's walnut. It's made out of walnut, and I had it dyed black. Reason being, I wanted this to kind of be the signature handle to go with what I call my signature razor. This is, of course, my um, my wedding butcher with the prehistoric scales. Um, my absolute favorite razor, hands down. It's beautiful. It was my birthday gift for my wife last year, and it's just it's just amazing work. So that's this is what I would consider my signature razor. Absolutely gorgeous. So I got this uh this uh this uh, handle dyed black. So it kind of go hand in hand with it. That right there, three seconds of swirling on my face, and this lather is already ready to go. Um, I'm not going to lie. Again, you know, a lot of us have been trying a lot of soaps, especially with the YouTube pass-arounds and 
Just in general, we're all soap addicts. But for it to be this quality of a lather, that quick, and to put it on my face, is just flat out impressive. I am really, really impressed with this soap. I'm like, man, look at that. That's, this is about as good a lather as I've ever seen. And I don't rush through my videos. I don't fast forward nothing. So you've seen it in real time. Right now I'm just painting it on because it feels nice. But I don't need to do anything else to this lather. So you guys seen it live. Um, that was about as, as impressively fast as the lathers I've ever seen. You know, again, I haven't tried all the soaps in the world. But I'm about 30 soaps into my wet shaving journey easily. So that's, that's damn nice. That was with no pre-shave, no glycerin, no nothing. That's just the soap itself. Very nice. Got a really nice shave my last uh, video. Doing the long strokes. Again, around the, all these little edges, I got to do those little short ones, but probably like the long strokes on my neck, no irritation, just came out real nice, so. I'm going to stick with that today. And I don't like this razor just because of the looks. The performance of it is great. This razor, and I would have to say uh, one of my American razors, my Claws razor, probably give me consistently the best shaves out of all my razors. Um, just the edge on them, the balance of the razors themselves are excellent quality. And again, I said the last time I used my Claws razor on, on video, It's extremely underrated, American Steel. American razors are incredibly underrated. That Claws razor is great. It really gets the job done for me. Again, super consistent, comfortable shaves. No matter what brush, no matter what soap I pair with, um, this razor and that razor are just on point. Yeah, sometimes I look like I'm getting into uncomfortable positions. I'm trying to do my best so that you guys can see the angles I'm taking. Also, without sacrificing a good shave. Excellent first pass. Draw off the hands again. And this brush is continue is it's continuing to be like my favorite brush. And I don't have the most experience with all kinds of different products. Um, you know, I get all the new products that I could afford within my means. 
Um, so are there probably, are there, may there be knots better than this one? Possibly. From what I've tried, this is the best one I've, I've tried. I haven't felt about a knot like I felt about that one. That one's just great. Again, I've had to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've had about 12, 13 brushes with this one. I've sold some. Um, but yeah, I've had about 13 brushes. So um, I'm not exactly a complete noob on it. Hey! Complete noob when it comes to um, brushes. But again, I'm not super, super experienced with everything. I still trip out on how Anthony does um, this side of the face. He does this. I guess in theory I could do it, but this is like really hard. Even my hands are a little shaky doing it this way. Because I usually, again, do across like this. Just so I can stick with using my right hand. I'm going to try it. Not impossible, but again, just not that easy. Okay, so this part, I'm gonna switch back to my offhand. So that way Anthony does it with the right hand on the right side going across the green. The neck wasn't too hard. My hands were a little shaky doing it. But this is actually the hard part for me on that one. So final pass. I feel like the shit's going by fast. I guess I'll see once I'm done recording. These ones I do like the little buffering strokes.
Now I would say that's a damn successful shave right there. Didn't talk as much through most of my, like I do most of my videos. Um, you know, it was New Year's, so I just wanted me a damn good shave. And that was a damn good shave, man. Really enjoying it. I don't know why, I just woke up in a good mood today, man. It's just like, I don't know. There's something about today. Well, just I, I feel upbeat today, which is nice, you know. You know, there's a lot of things that could be stressing me out right now. For whatever reason, I'm not letting them get to me. Because I woke up good. I don't know what it is. Well, sometimes you don't want to just you don't want to have to justify why you're in a good mood. Just accept the fact that you're in a good mood and write it out. You know, hopefully this this whole vibe carries over the whole day because, you know, why not? Why would I want to have a bad uh, New Year's Day or New Year's Eve and New Year's Day? Let that soak in a bit. And, of course, in uh, true David fashion, I didn't grab my aftershave. So let me lean over that way and grab my aftershave. So again, going to go with the sandalwood. I am boycotting the name, but just know it's a sandalwood aftershave. Um, as soon as I'm able to get a Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements one, this one will probably go up for sale. or probably just piff. Uh, but yeah, going with sandalwood. Won't be using this product for too much longer. Mm, scent's nice, but... i much rather support my boy uh, Joey A from Razor Rock. Then support these guys. <coughs> but awesome shave again. Hey, Coral River Soapworks. Select their sandalwood. Amazing again, Larry. Thank you for that ball soap, that bowl, and the soap. They're amazing. Um, again, that was probably about as good as the lathers I've ever gotten. Um, Nathan Clark, um, still loving that brush, dude. And I'm out now. I'm at about eight, nine shaves with it, and I still enjoy it. So good stuff, you know. My signature razor. This is good stuff. Hey guys, uh, once again, happy New Year. Be safe. Um, any questions, concerns? Hell, any ideas for videos? Because I pretty much do the same crap every time I do a video. I sit here or stand here, I should say, shave and just talk about nonsense. If there's something you want to talk about, let me know. Give me some ideas. You know, so, hey guys, have a good one. Take care. Um, Happy New Year. I'll see you in 2015.